hello goddess i hope you are coding well in the previous video we added security configuration in our project and in today's video we will create a register api so let's get started first of all we need a dto for our register request so let's click here and click on new package we'll name this package as dto in this package let's go and create a java class with the name of sign up request let's annotate this as data so we can get the getters and setters let's import the class as well so here in the sign up request first we need to accept the first name so we'll write private the type will be string and we'll name it as first name let's duplicate this and upgrade this to last name let's keep this capital and after first name and last name we need email and at the end we need password so uh, that's it for the sign up api now let's create another service where we will write the business logic for authentication related apis for this we can go to our service package and click on new java class and name it as authentication service it should be an interface after this we need to uh, create an service implementation so right click on impl package and choose java class and name it as authentication service implementation let's annotate this as a service after this let's write implements authentication service let's import this after this uh, let's uh, write here another annotation for our orgs constructor so we'll write required orgs constructor in this authentication service implementation we need our uh, password encoder and user repository so let's go and create the objects so we'll write private final user repository and after this uh, let's create the object for our password encoder so we'll write password encoder now uh, let's create the method to accept the sign up request and create a user and save it in the repository so for that we'll write public and this method will return a user and uh, let's name it as a sign up so in the params we will write uh, our newly created dto sign up request let's import this user in this method uh, let's create a new user and now we need to uh, set the details for this user so first let's set the email so we'll use a uh, sign up request dot get email let's duplicate this and we need to repeat this for first name and last name after uh, first name and last name let's assign a role to this user so in this api we'll just create the user with the role user will not allow uh, the users to create an admin user for our application 
at the last we need to uh, set the password for this user so we'll use our uh, password encoder dot encode method so we can encrypt our raw password to a hashed password so here in the encode met method we need to give our raw password so we'll use sign up request dot get password at the end uh, let's uh, save this user in the user repository so we'll use user repository dot save and then we'll give the user at the end uh, let's return this now we need to mention this method in our authentication service interface so uh, our service method is ready now let's go to our authentication controller and create the endpoint first of all we need to inject our authentication service here so let's do that by writing private final authentication service now uh, let's create a post api so we'll use post mapping and the path should be a slash sign up the method should be public and this will return one response entity of type user and the name for this method we can write as sign up let's import this user here and uh, in the request body we need to uh, mention the sign up request so let's write at the rate a request body and then sign up request in this method uh, let's return a response entity dot ok and here we can call our sign up method in the authentication service let's pass the sign up request here and our sign up api is ready before uh, running this application let's uh, create a method to create an admin account so as you know we have two user types in our application first one is admin and the second one is user so we will create an admin account by default on the startup of the application to write that method let's go to our main class of our application and let's implement here command line runner after this uh, let's inject our user repository here so we'll use auto wired and here we'll write private user repository and at the end we need to write one method public void run and we'll mention here some args so uh, we'll write our logic to create the admin user in this uh, run method but before that in the user repository we need to create another method to find the user by the role so on startup of our application we need to check if the admin account is not there in our database then only we can create an admin account otherwise we will skip this process so uh, we can uh, copy this and we will return a user here and that user we should uh, find by role 
let's mention here our role enum and change this to role now uh, let's go to our main class and let's uh, write here user admin account is equals to a uh, user repository dot find by role and we'll give here role dot admin let's import the user here after this uh, we'll check this uh, admin account and if this is equal to null then only we will create another user now uh, let's we'll write the logic to create a user so that should be equal to new user now uh, let's set the details for the user so we'll use user dot set email and the email should be admin at the rate gmail dot com of course you can uh, change these details as required on the second we need to uh, write the first name and we can keep this as admin and let's duplicate this and change it to second name i will keep this uh, as same as admin now let's uh, set the user role and the role should be role dot admin at the end we need to uh, set the password so we can use here new uh, bcrypt password and then we need to call the encode method and here we need to give the raw password so i am giving the admin password as admin at the end uh, we need to just save the user so we'll call user repository dot save and we'll give this user now uh, this is done as well uh, let's go and try to run our application okay uh, as you can see we got an error and this says that uh, the jwt uh, service required a bean so let's go to our jwt uh, service implementation and we missed here uh, one implements statement so we can write here implements jwt service after adding the implements uh, statement uh, as you can see this method is giving an error and we just need to update this to public this error is resolved now let's go and try again to run our application As you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now uh, let's go to our mysql webpage and verify if our admin user got created or not i am uh, in my workbench and we have this user table let's uh, click on this icon to view the records and as you can see we got one record for the admin now uh, let's go to the postman and call our sign up api in the sign up request body i am giving first name and last name as user the email is user at the red gmail.com and the password is user so let's click on this send button and uh, as you can see we got uh, 200 okay and we have the details of our newly created user 
as well so now let's go to workbench and verify this so we'll click on uh, this icon again and as you can see the user record is here so that's it uh, for this video uh, in this video we uh, created uh, the sign up api and we added the logic to create the admin account on the startup of the application in the next video we will work on the login api